Hey guys, Nick here from Into Fly Fishing and welcome to another review video. Today we're having a deep dive into this right here, the Snowbee Spectre number 78 cassette reel kit. Let's get into it. So first off, before we start with this review, I have to let you guys know that Snowbee did send us this fly reel to test and review, but in no way are we required to be positive about this product or any other product on this channel, whether we buy it for ourselves or if the manufacturer ships it to us. So I'm gonna be 100% honest with you, list some pros and some cons as you'll see later in this video. So with that out of the way, let's get started by talking about how I was fishing the Spectre Cassette 7.8 reel. So I've been fishing this reel here up in northwestern Montana in some of the largest rivers that we have in this region as well as some of the largest lakes and some small you know backcountry lakes and I've really been able to get a pretty good use out of it. I've had it for a couple weeks now and yeah I've been loving the thing. So it's my first cassette reel I should say that. I had a bit of a learning curve kind of figuring out how to spool this thing and we'll talk about that a little bit later but I do love it and I'm excited to share with you guys my thoughts on this fly reel. So let's talk a little bit about what you get in the box when you order this Snowbee Spectre cassette fly reel kit. So you're gonna get, of course, the fly reel, but it comes with a few extra of these plastic cassette spools, which is really, really handy. So you get three total spools plus the fly reel, and you also get this nice little carrying case that is capable of ca carrying your fly reel with a spool on it, plus three others. So the great thing about these fly reels is that they come with so many different spools, right? I, reviewed the Snowbee Spectre fly reel, not the cassette version, but the regular version of this fly reel. Um, and you can actually, when, when it's live, I'll link to it up here. But that spool by itself was another $110, I think, or something like that. These spools, if you want to buy more of them, they're $11 on the Snowbee website. And so that's really the benefit of this. And actually, if you do want to purchase any extra spools for your Snowbee Spectre cassette fly reel kit, or if you want to purchase the entire kit for yourself, I've left some links down in the description below. And there's also a coupon code IFF10 that'll get you 10% off if you purchase through it. And as always, we appreciate your support when you click and purchase through our affiliate links because it really does help to keep us making these videos and support this channel. Next, let's talk a little bit about the construction and makeup of this reel. One of the things I love about the reel is this really hard coated paint on the outside. Snowbee claims that it's chip resistant and corrosion resistant and I can tell you that I've dropped this thing a couple times and there are no chips so I really do think they have a high quality coating on here. The reel frame itself is made from machined aircraft grade aluminum bar stock which is basically the standard these days for all ultra premium reels on the, on the market right now. And the way that Snowbee has machined their Spectre line of reels, both the cassette version and the regular version, um, has made it so that they've removed as much metal as possible while still retaining the optimal level of strength and rigidity and keeping the reel as light and well balanced as possible as well. The precision drag system on this thing is fully sealed. It's a multi-disc cork system with a stainless steel core and it really does offer superior performance, super smooth drag and basically no startup inertia at all. The large arbor design means that you can retrieve line quickly and keep a consistent drag tension when fighting fish. It also helps with line memory to ensure that your line straightens out in front of you and behind you with every cast and lays down on the water super straight as well. The great thing about this reel is its overall versatility. I've been fishing it on, you know, small to medium sized trout here in Northwest Montana, but as a seven, eight weight, you could obviously load into some massive fish and it's also totally sealed. So it's perfectly capable of saltwater fish. So you can go with this thing and you could be in backwaters and have some small trout on there. And the next day, hook into some big salmon or sea trout in the open ocean. And the fact that you can change these cassettes out, spool a bunch of different lines, just means that this is a super, super versatile way to create a fly reel. So next up, let's talk about the pros and the cons. We always try to add some pros, some things we love about every product on this channel, and some things we don't love. So I'm gonna start with the positives. The things I love about this fly reel are the makeup and construction of it, like we've already talked about. I love that Snowbee's removed as much metal as possible to keep this reel hyper light in your hand, even though it's a seven, eight weight, it's really nice and light to the point that you can fish it on a six weight as well, six weight fly rod and the weight differential is not that bad. Um, and I absolutely love that they don't make you spend a hundred and some odd dollars on every replacement spool that you have. I don't know how many reels I have where I just didn't want to go buy four, five or six different spools. And they're almost the same price as the reel in some case. So you just end up buying another reel for another hundred bucks. 
and it's just not good on the wallet or the bank account. So Snowbee and a lot of other companies that make these cassette reels have recognized that. They give you these extra spools for 11 bucks and I just love that. You know, you can go to a fly shop and get them to spool up all your spools for you for free. You buy the line either from Snowbee's website and get some of the wicked lines that they offer or go to the fly shop and buy your own, whatever kind you like. And to spool up all these reels is gonna cost you a fraction of what it would cost with a normal style fly reel. So I love that for sure. Moving on to the negatives, the things that I don't love so much about this fly reel. Um, I think it's mo mainly because this was my first cassette reel and I don't know a lot about cassette fly reels, but I think that one thing that Snowbee really could have done, and I don't know if this is done on any of the other brands that make these kind of reels, is that the cassette itself could easily flip back and forth between a right-handed spool and a left-handed spool. I mean, what better scenario do you have to make this have the best advantage of this reel type possible? Because with a normal spool, obviously, when you take a normal spool off, you can't flip it over and make it for a right-handed person. So for guides and people who are renting or lending their gear out a lot to friends, you know, if the, your friend or your, your client is the opposite reel as you, and they're reeling in with the right hand instead of the left, it would be great if you could just take this spool, flip it over, put it back on, and then boom, it's, a, it's spooled for the other hand. Um, that would be great. But unfortunately, as I learned the hard way, um, this only goes on one way. So there's these little posts that click into the front of the reel here and if you don't have it on the right way it won't close properly and you'll notice right away because it just won't pull out line properly it won't reel in properly so they are only one way i would have loved to see them go both ways it's not going to affect the performance of your reel just make sure that when you go into the fly shop with these things and you spool it for the first time or if you're spooling it at home make sure you look at the reel and find those little posts on the inside so you know that that's the part that's going to go into the main frame of the reel and you don't spool it the wrong way like i did in the car alarm <sighs> out here in the forest and there's a friggin' car alarm. There we go. Okay, so let's carry on. Oh, fucking sawing wood. It's usually silent out here and today I'm trying to record this video. Okay. Another thing I would have liked to see um, is this little handle here on the reel. I like when these are made with wood or with some kind of abrasive material so that your fingers don't slip off of them easily. I haven't had a problem with this particular reel with that happening, but as I talked about in the regular Snowbee Spectre reel review, I did have it happen with one fish when the fly reel was soaking wet my finger slipped off. It'd be nice if they just made that a little bit more grippy, but it's not really a big deal. And like I said in the other review, once you have it happen to you once, you're never going to let it happen again. You're just going to know how to grip that a little better. But it's a really small thing, not really affecting the performance of the reel and last but not least i know a lot of people watching this review are going to give me some some crap for saying this because people say the sound of a reel doesn't matter the sound of a reel doesn't matter it's not a con or a pro who cares but i'm old school i grew up on these old fly reels that every single one of the fly reels on the market 20 25 years ago sounded like that and i just i love that sound and when a fish takes on that um, it's just cool when you're reeling in. I don't know, it's just me being old school. And nowadays, some of the newer fly reels, you can turn that sound on and off. Not an option with the Snowbee Spectre line of fly reels. And they do have a pretty quiet sounding, sounding spool. So let me loosen off the drag here. So considerably quieter. Um, and when you're reeling in, it's absolutely silent, which I don't really care the reeling in part. I just like when a fish takes and it screams my reel. But that's a small thing. That's not going to be a performance issue for anybody. And most people watching this review are probably going to tell me that's a dumb thing to put in a review in the first place. But I don't care. I love the sound of fly reels. So lastly, as we do in every single one of our fly reel reviews or any product review here on the channel, I just want to talk about my personal thoughts and opinions with the Snowbee Spectre cassette number 78 fly reel. So I love this fly reel. I've already told you guys, I love the feature of the cassette. I've never had that before. And I know I'm gonna be buying a few more of these for 11 bucks each and spooling them with different lines. Because this is a number seven, eight reel, it fits on both my Spectre RMX seven weight fly rod and it fits on my Snowbee Prestige GXS five weight, nine foot fly rod. Plus I also have a six weight Diamond two, and I have a couple other six weights as well. And I know that this reel is a similar weight differential to the six weight models. So I can put this on my six weight rods as well. It's super versatile and I can load this up then with six, seven and eight weight fly lines. And I can have a whole bunch of these things, maybe get a couple more of these little cases as well and just have my spools all for this reel. I think because of that, it's hard to 
really justify buying a reel that's going to cost you a hundred bucks or 110 bucks for an extra spool every single time and i think for the price you know 289 dollars for the reel itself with three extra little cassette spools in there and this little carrying case it's just a great deal so if you're looking for a new seven eight weight fly reel or just a really versatile fly reel that you want to have a lot of different lines for and you want to put them around these cassette reels that aren't going to break the bank this is a fly reel for you it's one of my new favorites um yeah i just love this thing so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up leave a comment down below and tell me if you've ever used a cassette fly reel before and also hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll be notified when we come out with new videos we're doing tons of different fly fishing gear review videos for lots of different brands and lots of different products. We're also doing how-to series for still water fly fishing, river fly fishing, and also Euro nymphing. So we have tons of stuff coming at you. Make sure you subscribe. Until next time, tight lines.